Okay, so I'm going to continue on. You can see I've made some good progress. I actually uh, kind of did a little bit on my own, only because it's uh, difficult for a first scramble to sort of describe what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So I wanted to make sure that I had things a little more clear in my head for the sake of consistency. Uh, so anyway, what I'm doing now is I'm filling in all of these uh, corners, these uh, little triangles. So looking here, I've got the top part almost all all the way done. Unfortunately, I've only got this part left of the uh, of the actual initial engraving. Too bad. Uh, so looking at it, the way that I organize it is when I do the algorithm here to here, here to here, here to here. Uh, I'm just looking to see the corner that is just to the right of the piece, and that helps um, orient me. So for instance, if I wanted to coordinate this corner here, um, I'm looking at this. This is a corner. Uh, so what I'll do is, is I'm going to try to move it in with this piece. I find the edge that it's attached to and it's going to be cycling with this piece here. So none of these are in. So I have to find the one that comes to this over here. So I've got this here. So the ones that are going to cycle are the ones that are just on either side of this edge, looking at this corner just to the right. Then I look to see what's the next one in. And as I move this in, I see that this actually fits in here. So that's going to be a good three cycle to actually put this in. So when I do my down, down, up, it's going to be facing this corner over here. So this is this configuration. This corner represents here, this corner represents here, and these two little triangles represent these guys, and this little triangle represents this guy. I may know that, but still the perspective is a little difficult. So it's going to be down, this moves back up, and then down, down, up, and this moves back up over here, up, down, up, and up. And I'm never sure, I'm not completely sure how much I have to turn it, but now this is in, so as you can see, this is now almost completely in over here. So let's say I wanted to put this one in, so I'm going to move it off to the side here, so this corner's here. This is going to participate, so I don't really want that to happen. So what I'm going to want to do is, is put this in with the layer above it. So what's the layer above this? Um, what's well, going to be here, so you can see it comes into here, so I don't want this to participate in it, so I'm going to put another corner in. All right, this doesn't belong here, so this corner is fine. So where do I want where do I want to put this in? Well, I move this here, and this doesn't fit, even though it had a nice little click. How about this over here? This doesn't fit. And in any case, this here, because this is uh, um, just to the other side, this is the edge that separates these two, this would participate also, so that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to do some deconstruction and reconstruction with this. Um, what about over here? Well, let's see, what do we got? All of these are in. I'm going to move this into position here. So once again, these are in. Okay, I'm still going to try to put this one in place. So what, what actually does belong here? Let's try to find that first. So I'm just going to move this around, just kind of explore things. Um, I think I already tried this and saw that this doesn't come into here. Move this into place, and I can almost guarantee This one doesn't belong either. Okay. So let's still look. All of these are in. So what comes into here is probably something that has a strange shape like this. Okay, so I'm gonna try to maybe move these into position. And this is just a matter of trial and error, sort of. So 
No, we're not. Ooh, there we go. So that doesn't work. Another corner here. Nope, that's not going to work. And that's not going to work. Okay. So I got to move something else in. And like I say, chances are it's here. So I have to move this up to move it across. I'm going to let this kind of guide me, but I'm going to move this up like so. All right, so I have to remember to join these back over again. And let's move this to here and see where the sparks fly. Move this in and bang. So this fits into here. Now just so that I know to find my way home, this is going to guide me because when I move this all the way back, I know that this is correct. So for now, I have a breadcrumb to find my way back home. Okay, so I've got to coordinate things with this, and I know that this belongs over here. Okay, so this is going to participate in it, which I really don't want to do. This to here, this to here, and this to here. So I got to move this out, but again, I'm sort of deconstructing things again, so I got to be very careful with that. But I want to move something else in this position. So what if I move this to here? Okay, I've got this one that'll participate, but once again, this is where it needs to be, so I don't want that. As a matter of fact, well, is this where it needs to be? Yeah, so we don't want to use that one. All right, let's take it this way then. Okay, this is going to be moved, but that's not something we, we want to move either. Okay, so having a little bit of trouble trying to decide how we're going to move these in. And I don't really want to lose my way. Well, the thing is, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use this and see if I can't, I can't rotate any of these in. So I'm going to have to go a little further down that rabbit hole. So let's turn this to here. All right, so we're basically around one. The reason why I did that is because I want to move another one in this place. So move this up to here. We've got this one. Now is this one something that we can use? Well, I don't know. Let's keep an eye on this. This doesn't seem to fit. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to move this into here. And I just got to remember to move it back. And then we have to move this whole top back. So I've gone quite down the rabbit hole, haven't I? Um, this has to make it to here. So I actually have to do the algorithm twice for this to enter, oop, for this to enter here. Okay, so we're going to be turning it from here. We've got to do the algorithm twice. Remember, this has to move back. <laughs> got to somehow remember that. So it's going to be down, 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 up, and then up. Down, up, up. Okay, now one more time should move this where I want to move it. Okay, almost got a little bit lost there. Okay, so this to here, this to here, and this to here, and that should get me where I need. So we've got, let me be sure here, yeah. All right. Down. Down, down, up, and 
up, down, up, up. That moves that back. Okay. Uh, this made it over here. Now I've got to be careful because I've got to move it back. Now, um, yeah. Now what moved here? I believe this moved? No, maybe not. Oh yeah, this, this moved here, so I'm going to move that back, so that's good. And now this guy moved. Where did he move? Well, he moved here, I think. Yeah, so this moved over here. Now, how far down that rabbit hole did we go? This is much more in. And I think maybe I'm back. Okay, now that I'm here, move this back to here. That seems to fit. Now, how are we doing? Aha! Okay. That was close. I think I got it back. So at the end of the day, I now have this whole side in. That was a long roundabout way to do that. And I could easily get lost and undo much of what I did. The whole key is making sure I don't lose my edges or corners. If I do, then I gotta go back by a couple of steps. But there's always that chance that we have to take or I'll be frozen. But you can see this is done over here and we're very close. As a matter of fact, much of our middles are done. I'm gonna, at the risk of losing my perspective, put this in. And then we can see that we've just got a couple that have to be placed. So my bottom row is done. I finally finished that first layer. Let me get this in a way that can be moved. There we go. Okay, so how shall we do this now? Oh, let's kind of explore around. Obviously this doesn't fit. So I'm gonna hold it like this, so this will cycle with something. But what, what belongs here? Obviously nothing here. Uh, if we do it from this perspective, then what fits over here? I'm going to move this in. That obviously doesn't fit. Alright, so this is... Uh, I'm going to be taking a bit of a chance with a lot of these. Uh, then there's this. I kind of wish I didn't solve this whole thing because a lot of um, possibilities can be moved into here. Let's just see what fits where. What can fit here? Now bear in mind my hesitancy is at this point I can still undo everything that I've done by losing my perspective even with these simple well, steps. If we had to predict, I seem to think that this probably will find a home over here. But how can we how can we make that happen? Okay, so I'm going to temporarily move this in such a way that maybe I can move it in there. Okay, let's see. Boom. Yep, that belongs here. Now let's remember what we turned. Okay, we're turning from the middle, so I'm going to move this over here. So this does belong over here. And how are we going to do that? Alright, so this is a corner. It belongs over here. So this will participate, which we don't want. Okay, so I know this guy here has to make it to this guy here, which means it's got to be just to the side of this. So I'm going to put the corner on the right side here, and uh, it's going to be exchanging with this as a corner here. So what that means is I've got to take this and move him to here, I think. If I move this in, you can see that fits nice and snug. Now I have to make sure I have a breadcrumb to follow back. And that's going to be basically all of this. So that, that shouldn't be too hard to, to find. 
and there may be a couple steps that I get to get there but the way this is going to work is this will move here so this guy we don't want uh, taken out so the hope is that there's another one that doesn't belong and ah, that's this guy so this could be very good because now I've got something I can use. The other breadcrumb is, is i got to take this back, and I should be able to match all of these guys. Okay. So without any further ado, this goes to here, this goes to here, right? Yeah. And this goes to here. Using this to juxtapose those, so we've got... Down. Down down, up, and up, down, up, up. Okay, now let's remember our breadcrumbs. This went here, right? Now, where else? Where else? See if I remember. Um, nope. Okay. All right. Don't panic. Oh, okay. Yeah. This had to turn all the way around here. Okay, good. So this is all back in, and now we've got this in over here. So, um, actually, we're doing really well. I can only count one, two... Could it be that I'm down to the last three? Now that's a good thing, but this is where it becomes the most dangerous. So if I were to turn it here and turn it here, you can see that I'm so close to solving it, I just have one, two, three left. Who would have thought that I would have gotten it this far? Okay, so let's get this into um, ghost position. Uh, okay, let me pay attention here to what I gotta do. Yes, no, no. There we go, okay. So, we have to coordinate those three, which means I've gotta do everything I can to put them where they're supposed to be and get them close to each other. So this is all fine, this is not. So this is the one that, that can move around. Okay. I'm just looking to see what can go where. And the problem that I'm running into is, unfortunately, this is all in, which is kind of a liability at this point. Uh, okay. Move this into here. So I can do a three cycle with this. But now the trick is I've got to get this guy and I've got to move him in such a way that it'll participate with all of these. Now let's see how I'm going to do that. Uh, let me tool this guy around here like so. Okay, so now it's a little bit closer. Okay, this needs to occupy this spot. That's what has to happen. Well, actually, these two are occupying those spots. Okay, I'm a little afraid I'm going to lose my, lose my way. Okay. Setting it up like this, these two are now where they need to be. I just have to be very sure this is going to be my breadcrumb back. Now, where's my third one that's out? Is it this? It looks like it's this. Okay, which means this guy has to come all the way to here. This has to come to here, and I think I can do that. Like so. Okay. I think. Yeah. All right, I'm in the proper configuration. I just have to bear in mind my first breadcrumb will be this. 
turning all the way to here. I think I should be able to remember that. Okay. Now, will this come into here? Yes. If that's the case, as there can't be any parity with this, I'm one algorithm away from getting everything where it needs to be. So, let's see if this does it. We've got down, 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 up, then up, down, up. I'm so nervous right now. Up. Okay, this looks nice here. I'm simply going to follow all of my breadcrumbs back. Now, I'm not so sure about this guy here. Uh, but let's see what happens. The first breadcrumb was to turn this back to here. The second breadcrumb was this. This is going to turn myself back to here, no. Uh, well, to here. And now do I have a final breadcrumb? To here, and aha! Could it be? Yes. So to me, this is the joy of puzzle solving, because now, finally, it's done. So, there it is, the solve of a ghost octahedron, a brilliantly made puzzle. Uh, if it weren't for the playability of this puzzle, this would have been much more difficult. Imagine lockups or pieces flying all over the place. You can see that just the perspective itself was, uh, was kind of an issue. And then just positioning things, even simple maneuvers, became a lot more difficult uh, with this. Um, a very, uh, a <laughs> definitely a very good addition to the uh, challenge collection and I'd say certainly is within uh, among the top challenging of puzzles simply because of uh, its ghost modification and also the fact that you have to do so many sequential solves and design completely uh, well fairly new algorithms to cause center rotation. So Raphael thanks for the hours and hours of fun. I hope to see more puzzles from you and my question now is what about a uh, corner turning? octahedron ghost. Anyway, thanks for watching.